Oh, finally. I've been looking for something to loot for days at this point. Oh, hopefully it's something good. Maybe like a few saddles, enchanted golden apple I guess would be kind of nice. Maybe a whole bunch of amethyst. I haven't found any geodes yet. Um, let's... Alright. Come on. I mean, how long have I been playing Minecraft? Do you think that's gonna work? Oh, jeez. Okay. Now look, I know I've said some things in the past about the quality of loot in this game, but look, I'm I'm ready for redemption. I'm ready to be proven wrong, alright? So what do we have? <sighs> yep. Yep, okay. Alright, you know what? No, that's it. Do you mind? I, 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 fine. You know what? I'll do it myself. I'm just gonna do it myself. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video and today as you might have guessed from that unfortunate intro, we are talking about loot. Yes, in our Command Block RPG series, we've actually covered quite a bit so far. We know how to make custom shops with villagers. We can make custom enemies that can drop certain custom items, have different attributes and stats and things like that. We can make Command Blocks as close to invisible as they're gonna get. And we even know how to give players their own custom titles for achieving things. So far, that's all well and good, but what is every good RPG have that ours currently doesn't? Yeah, you guessed it. This game doesn't have it either. That would be good loot. Now I know, I know, we've talked in the past at length about this problem, and if you haven't seen that video, it'll pop up in the iCard right now, where we made a video talking about the quality of loot in this game, and I even argued against my own point, saying that the loot isn't bad in Minecraft. It's just our idea as gamers as to what makes good loot, because for this game, things that help you with building and exploring should be good loot. Now, I'm not going to reference the entire video, you guys can go take a look if you haven't seen that already, but long story short, for RPG elements, there's not a lot of good options in Minecraft. I thought we could make our own, and I just in case you're wondering, this is, this is an example of what not to do, okay? Not to do in RPGs. God, pumpkin seeds, if I never see another pumpkin. So as we've talked about making enemies in Minecraft, uh, making loot that they could drop or that our villagers can sell is logically the next step. We want to give players a whole bunch of items that they can play around with in your worlds that are going to feel meaningful and like actual loot in an RPG. Now I want to quickly note the most efficient way of making loot items that do really cool interesting things is actually making a small data pack for them. But there are many many great data pack videos out there on YouTube and I'm not really gonna sit around here and take you step by step on how to make them. If that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and browse YouTube. There's loads of good ones even for the current versions of Minecraft which is great. And in the next video, the one I have planned after this, at least in the series, I will do a brief overview of what our uh, data pack for loot could look like, but if you want to take it slow and go through making a data pack from scratch, Go ahead and look it up. You'll find some fantastic videos. With that being said, today in this video, we are going to do everything via the use of command blocks, as which is pretty much what we've been doing so far. We will make use of a couple other websites, such as our infamous MC Stacker, and also some other data entry websites. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We want to go ahead and start at square one. What are we thinking in this RPG? Well, we currently have a map, let's say, and our enemies on that map drop some really cool currency. You can take the currency to the villagers and they may sell some really important items for survival and things like that. But we want our players to feel powerful, like there's a reason to go out there and loot structures and kill enemies and visit shops. It's more than just buying a couple potions and some steak every time you revisit town. Although there are no official trinket slots in Minecraft, and I know there is the Curios mod, which I absolutely love, which in and of itself is very reminiscent of the old baubles. With some command magic, we can actually use the inventory and offhand slot to essentially make unique equipables that will give our players effects when they hold our loot. So I have three different tiers of items that we could make that we're going to go over today, starting from the least complex, ending up at actually fairly complex. Uh, but we'll start right at the beginning. So to start, we are going to head over to our very familiar at this point, MC Stacker. Per usual, I will have the links in the description for all the things you need, and I will have my paste bin example, so if you guys just want to copy and paste and not go through building the process on your own, of course, you can do that too. I realize everyone has a schedule to keep. But in the interest of learning how to make your own cool items, we are going to go through this step by step. Now, assuming you are a command wizard at this point, you could probably just do this syntax in Minecraft, but I still find it easy and fast to do it on MC Stacker. 
So we're going to go ahead and start with the slash give command, which I've already selected here. As you can see, the parameters are already set up for us. And we are going to go through just starting out simple and giving our player a weapon or some armor in this case that just has some different attributes when they put it on. Stuff that you can't get in vanilla Minecraft that maybe will make it feel a bit unique to your world. So we'll go ahead and change the item here to an iron chest plate, just like that. You can type it in per usual. Um, I'll go through this rather quickly as if you've seen my other videos, you should know how MC Stacker pretty much works at this point, but we'll go ahead and give it a name. Um, and this one we can probably call something like just heavy plate. That feels pretty fantasy. And we are going to base our items that we give the players in a rarity system, as a lot of RPGs do. You don't have to do this, uh, but just so the players have a cool visual indication of what the rarity of the item is, let's set the color of this text uh, as this is a common chest plate. Let's make it green to signify common. All right, now you can give your items lore, uh, which we probably will do for our fancier items later, but I think for just a pretty standard chest plate, it will actually say the attributes once we uh, give it to the player on the item itself. So that's probably good for now. You can go ahead and hide this away. Now you can mess around with some of the other things here, like how damaged the chest plate is when they find it or buy it, you know, how much it costs to repair, if it's permanently unbreakable. There's lots of other fields here, but for now we're only interested in the enchantments and the modifiers fields. So let's go ahead and start with enchantments. Now you could do something as simple as just enchanting this as you see fit, uh, getting whatever enchantments you want on your weapons or armor, and then you know spawning them in the world uh, so players don't have to wrestle with finding randomized ones. But because we want this to be a little out of the ordinary because it's an RPG, we are going to commit the holy sin of stacking the protections. That's right, I know, I know, please don't ban me. YouTube, let my videos stay up, please. But in all seriousness, you won't find something like this in pure vanilla Minecraft. This takes a little bit of uh, command wizardry to stack the protections together, of course. Um, I could also add in projectile protection, but that might be a bit overkill for our little common plate. And you know what? Let's also give it one level of unbreaking while we're at it. Okay, that should be good for our enchantments. And like I said, if this is all you want to do and just have an enchanted chest plate that's named something for your players, great. There's your piece of loot. I'll tell you what to do with it in a second. But... We want to go a step further. You know, even though these enchantments are stacked a little weird, it's not that unlike vanilla to have a loot piece like this. And as this is pretty powerful for a quote-unquote common chest plate, why don't we go ahead and give it a slight debuff, maybe something that makes it unique to this chest plate. So we're going to go ahead and go to the modifiers section. Now, if you've never messed around with modifiers in Minecraft, they can get pretty confusing pretty quickly but we are going to go through it in the simplest way that I can explain. So if you go ahead and click this add attribute modifier thing, you'll see this whole weird set of white tags pop up. If you click on this attribute thing, it might not show up because of the way that lists work on MC Stacker on the video, um, but you have a whole bunch of base attributes in Minecraft, such as your max health, your armor, uh, even your luck. Long story short, attributes in Minecraft define things uh, that are specific to players and entities in general, but mostly players. However, with the use of attribute modifiers, you can, as the name would imply, modify these attributes as you see fit. And it's not the same as just giving you a potion effect, like increasing your luck via a potion or something like that. This could be a permanent or unpermanent effect that you give the player based on specific criteria. Now for our purposes, because our chest plate is already pretty good for a common rank, what we want to do is we actually want to go down and see where it says movement speed and select that. Now what I'm thinking, because we called this heavy plate and it's already stacked quite a few enchantments on it, this thing might be, you know, pretty heavy to actually wear around. So why don't we go ahead and reduce the movement speed of the player while wearing this chest plate? So we'll go through these tags one by one. This first one, amount right here, is how much we want to adjust by. We'll change this in just a minute. This next one here is the operation, or exactly what we want to do to that amount, whether it's just a flat amount, if it's a percentage, or it's multiplicative. Generally, you want to just set this to amount if you're adding or subtracting flat numbers, but because we're dealing with movement speed here, we're actually going to change it to percentage, and I'll explain why in just a second. Then this slot tag right here is pretty interesting. Now you'll notice it says any, um, and if I click on this again, you might not see the list, but there are a couple other options that'll pop up that are main hand, off hand, feet, legs, chest, and head. These are the different slots that your player can equip items and they will receive the attribute bonus. Now as just a quick aside here, if I set it to any, that doesn't mean any slot in your inventory and the player will have reduced movement speed. That means any of the actual armor slash shield slots 
uh, or your hand slot that will reduce your movement speed. Now you could keep this on any as the player would really only actually wear this chest plate on their chest slot and not in any of their other slots so it wouldn't really matter but it might mess with the UI later so what we're going to do is actually just set this to be chest. Now all this means is whenever the player is wearing our item in its chest slot we are going to change the movement speed by a percentage amount. And for us, that amount is going to be negative 0.2. Now remember, the reason we have a 0.2 here is because we set this to percentage. So what this actually means is 20% less because we have the little negative modifier there. The reason that we're doing percentage for movement speed is because as I've explained before, movement speed in Minecraft is actually calculated really weirdly. So if we just put this as amount and had something like negative one, negative two, or even negative 0.2, that's actually just setting the player's movement speed to a negative number, which means they can't walk, uh, which is unfortunately not what we need. So I've just found percentage to work a lot easier because this actually subtracts 20% off the player's movement speed while they're wearing this chest plate. Don't worry about this UUID number for now. This will come back later. All you need to know is that this is just generated for you when picking your attributes, and they should be completely unique and never the same as another item in your entire Minecraft world. Okay, that should be it. So now that we have our item, let's go and test and see if this actually works in game. So per usual, all we need to do is go over here and click copy. And we'll come on back into Minecraft here. And I've just set up a little command block here uh, with our unique armor that we're going to set up. Uh, it's currently blank, but if I go ahead and right click on this, I can press control V up here and that should paste the exact command that we just copied from MC Stacker. A uh, reminder that we put it into the command block because as you can see, this is way too long for chat to just accept you to type the slash give command into. So we'll pop it into this command block here and press the button. And sure enough, there we go, gave one heavy plate. And you can even see as we mouse over the word, uh, it tells us everything that we need to know. Sure enough, it is in green, it's called heavy plate. It's got protection one, fire protection one, blast protection one, unbreaking one. And when on body, minus 20% speed. An unholy plate, to say the least. So if you notice, I'll just do a quick speed test. You know, I'm walking around, normal speed. If I hold it in my hand, we're fine. Put it in my offhand, we're fine. That's because we set it to only change when it's in the body slot. Now, if I go ahead and right click to equip, it's equipped, I'm in creative, so it does that as well. You can see I am actually moving a bit slower now, which is pretty interesting. Plus, we have all those fancy enchantments on us. All right, so that first one was pretty simple. I just wanted to get us started and learn about attributes so we could take it a step further in our next example. But you could do this to your heart's content. You could have wooden swords that are completely unbreaking. You could have uh, chainmail boots that give you extra movement speed when you're running with them, or things that increase your health when you wear them, decrease your health. There are plenty of different options with just enchantments and attributes alone, putting them on weapons and armor. Hey, hey, yeah, over here. Uh, Nick from the future here. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt this video, um, but just to quickly talk about something, as I was going through and finishing editing uh, this whole section of video, I realized that the whole thing ended up being a lot longer than I had initially anticipated, and it really also got to be quite dense. So even after editing and cutting out a whole bunch of it that I thought would make the video more efficient to watch, I realized that rather than making a 30 to 40 minute video that I would just post and people would have to sit through, I'd break it up into a few parts. Sometimes I do do this anyway, but because this was all done in post and I didn't really want to go back and re-record a whole bunch of stuff, you might notice that the transitions between the next couple videos are a bit choppy, so just bear with it, that's okay. Also, I'm going to put out those next three videos uh, pretty rapidly after each other rather than doing the command series in between them. So you should get those back to back. All right, that's all. Hope you enjoyed this first part. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, look forward to the next part. See ya.